Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Today, we're going to go inside the Seafoam Islands. What do we have in here? Well, we have a lot of water Pokemon, and we also have the second legendary bird here too, so... We have our work cut out for us, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, at first, I'm not going to use any repels, because like I said, there is a wild Pokemon here I want to find. Uh, Psyduck, that is not you. You're a cool man, Psyduck. I do like you, but you're not what I'm looking for. That's a pretty high level for a Psyduck, too, by the way. That's like three levels away from its evolution, so... If you want to get a Psychic, or... Not a Psychic. If you want to get a Psyduck when it's about to level up, then... This is a very good place to come for that, apparently. And they also appear a lot, too, so there you go. Actually, I might not want to get into too many wild fights here, because I do want to make sure my Pokémon are fresh for the legendary fight we'll be doing later, so... I might start running away from those battles, in all honesty. But yeah, the uh, Seafoam Islands, it's another cave maze type of puzzle. There are puzzles here that involve strength, so make sure you have your strength slave, a.k.a. just anyone who can use strength, really. And look! Here's the wild Pokemon I was looking for. So I can actually capture this and be on my merry way. But yes, it's Seal. I've always kind of liked Seal. I actually had a uh, Seal plush when I was younger. I had four Pokemon plushes. Uh, Seal, Zubat, Vulpix, and Dratini. Anyway, I don't exactly have a name for this thing yet, so once again, I'm just going to put it away and maybe come up with something later. And I think I am going to go ahead and use Super Repels. Now, there is actually a Pokemon that I am going to want to catch here, in addition to the Legendary, of course. Uh, you can actually find a Slowbro in the wild. It's a very, very, very small percentage to find. But if I get that Slowbro, I can actually trade it for a Lickitung and, you know, have that Pokemon. So I am actually kind of looking forward to that, if I can find it. But yes, if you couldn't tell, Seafoam is a maze of sorts. And I'm going to have a lot of fun figuring this out. But basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push these boulders into those holes. Because the boulders will actually fall in front of a... Um, river passage where if you try to surf in the river you'll actually uh, be pushed back to another room and you want to actually block off those passages so you can actually freely surf in the water so that's why we're gonna need SM41 for this so first let's uh, start pushing these things into the holes Actually, before I push that one, let's push this one out of the way so we don't get stuck. Push you in here. And don't fall in the holes because I think you get carried off to that uh, flowing river passage like I talked about earlier. But yeah, there we go. We've blocked off those passages, now we can do something a little more in this place once we find out what exactly we're doing. It's been it's been a while since I've actually done this area, so hopefully I don't get uh-oh. Yeah, like right there. That's what I was talking about. You get pushed away very easily. So, we're going to have to find a way to prevent that and no, I'm going to use more repels because I do not want to deal with too many wild Pokemon here. Danger! Fast currents! Well, thank you, I kind of figured that out already. And actually, I think Articuno's over there on that little island to the north, so... I'm... Actually, I think I can actually do it right now. I think. Yeah, I can. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's catch us an Articuno, then. Uh, 
As usual, I'm gonna put sunny side in front. And also, as usual, I am gonna save. Just to make sure this goes well. And we'll talk to you. Gayu! Yeah, all of the legendary birds say that. And here's Articuno! The flying ice bird. I should have known it was going to be faster than me. I kind of had a hunch. I didn't think it could do that much dan- Oh, come on! That's lame. That's very, very lame. Well, I have a backup plan. It's not as effective, though, unfortunately. Swim Kirby does actually have hypnosis. It doesn't hit as easily as Stun Spore does, but... Whatever, it works. For now. Now, like I said before, I feel like Articuno is a lot easier to capture than Zapdos, because Zapdos is a speed demon. But, still, this is going to be pretty challenging. Especially since these body slams aren't doing too much damage. That one did. You know what, I want to try this. Let's just use Water Gun, see if this kills it. No, it doesn't. Perfect. And I'm dead. Well, this is going to be a problem, because I have nothing to put it to sleep with. So, I guess we're just going to have to lob Ultra Balls at it until we capture it, which I don't think will work. Nope, it's not going to work. Ah! Dang it. If only I could have gotten a Stun Spore in. If only. That's honestly what's holding me back here. Okay, well let me do this. Let me switch to Helmer Rock. Maybe peck it once and see if I get it down enough. Of course it's going to use Ice Beam though, so that might not work. I could try to use Ice Beam on it, but... The fact that it is a bird type might do it in. Now let's try it. Yep, it's dead. Okay, hold on a second, guys. I think my problem with this is just the fact that I don't have very good types for battling Articuno. Because, yeah, sunny side is part grass, so there goes the ice versus grass advantage. Helmarok is a... Oh my god, really? Helmarok's a flying type, so... Naturally, that gets screwed over by ice. And then there's also... Mega Freak, who's also weak to ice. So yeah, in other words, I have very, very bad type coverage right now. Okay, you know what? I might be able to do this if I don't kill it here. Thank you! Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. I only freaking wish that he was paralyzed. Because then I could actually develop a strategy I could use to freaking take this out. But no, I'm going to have to freaking rely on luck. As stupid as luck is, I have to rely on it. Come on, please work. All you need is one frickin' hypnosis. Come on! Don't do this to me. Don't do this, please. Of course, frickin' misses every single time. There's no way I'm gonna capture it like this, though. Like, I know for a frickin' fact there's no way. Nope, it's going to keep missing. Oh, wait. 
Yes! Okay, good. Ah, uh, wow. I'm surprised that actually worked. Hmm. I guess you should never give up, even if it starts missing. But anyway, once again, don't have a name. We'll come back later to it. And that's actually it for Seafoam, aside from that one Pokemon that... I'll probably just come back and get that later. It kinda sucks though that my Pokemon are... kinda screwed over right now. Um... That's alright. I'll, uh... I'll deal with it. We're actually pretty close to the next town once we leave this area, so... We'll have a chance to heal. Well, I need to... Hmm. Oh, did I lose my repel? I guess I did. I didn't freaking notice that. Well then. Let's just equip another one then. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. And this is just going to take me... Yeah, it's just going to take me back to this. Okay, well... I don't know what to do here. I guess just... Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I have to go up a level. Which I can't do from here. I can do from here, though. You know what? I feel like using my bicycle. I'm moving way too slow. Okay, I believe this is the fast current again. And I've already done this part, so... Ignoring that. Let's just go up here. Now I just gotta find a way to get over this way. Yeah, like over here. How do I do that? Okay, repel wore off. just like this. Well, wait a minute, wouldn't this just take me down to the water? No, it wouldn't. Okay. I'm fine with that. I think I have a little more to do, though. I think there's, I think there's like a bigger rock puzzle here that I have to do. Which, if so, that's lame. Because I do not like rock puzzles. Actually, wait. Where does this take me? Oh, just right there where I was. Okay. Thank you, game. Thank you for taking me in a giant circle, which didn't really help me at all. Okay, well, can't go that way. Oh, freak, what do you want me to do, game? Also, there are no items in this place, so you don't have to worry about picking up those and having space for that. Which, thankfully, that's the case. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I found the rocks. Took me forever, but I found them. No, don't push it that far. Okay, that's in there. Oh, I have to do it again. Okay, I think I'm good now. This wasn't too bad. And if we go down here, 
Oh, we're still not done. Okay, there's a lot of boulder pushing here. A lot more than I gave the game credit for. Well, now I have to find a way to get over there to where that boulder is. Which I think I can do. And repel war off. Okay, there's the frickin' boulder. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, stop wearing off. Thankfully, it won't wear off very much longer. Because... Bingo! Okay, there we go. This is what I was looking for. I seriously hate the way the menu is in this game, because in future generations of Pokemon, whenever you uh, want to use an HM move, you could just walk up to the item and actually like press A, and like you'd be like, "Oh, would you want to do this?" In this game, no, you have to go to the Pokemon list and activate it that way, which is just really stupid. But there we go. Seafoam Islands is completed. Hooray! That really wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I guess a part of me, though, was just thinking back to my childhood when I hated that area because I don't think I had uh, strength equipped, and all of my Pokemon sucked except my starter. Like, I had, like, a level 60 starter, and all of my other Pokemon were, like, in their teens and 20s. So, yeah, like, I just did not like it, and it just seemed like, oh, goody, another cave, which I, I hated the cave levels just because they took so long. But yeah, like, that's that's kind of my story of me in that area. But it's really not that bad. And what's more is we have Articuno now, so I am very, very happy about that. God, it's hard to believe that, like, I might have the 7th Gym Badge very, very soon. I'm getting so freaking close to the end game. Now, I mean, keep in mind, we still have all the, like, uh, Elite Four stuff, and then, of course, catching every single Pokemon that I don't have yet, but still, like, just... Just the fact we're at this point is, like, incredible. I... I honestly can't even believe it. Or comprehend it. Whatever. Check out my buff physique. In all honesty, you do not look that buff. You look like a string bean. I mean, yeah, I'm sure you have a good swimmer's body, but... I wouldn't say you're buff. And he just says wimpy, that's his comeback. For losing. I rode my bird Pokemon here. Why? Was there any conceivable reason for you to do that, or were you just being stupid? Oh, I know, you were probably just being stupid. That honestly makes the most sense. And I'm actually going to switch to Mega Freak, because I want to see Ice Beam in action. I mean, like I said before, his special is not the best in the world, but... Hey, it's cool that Mega Freak can actually contend with bird Pokemon. That's mainly what I like about giving him Ice Beam. 
And yeah, that works. That works. Works pretty well. Oh, and he leveled up, too. Although I guess a level up was expected, considering how much damage he did in the uh, power plant. Because he was at level 42 when I went to the power plant, so... He had to gain a level eventually. Okay, let's keep going... I swam here from Cinnabar Island. And yes, that is our next destination, by the way, for those who didn't know that already. We're going to Cinnabar Island, which is not an area like Seafoam Islands. It's actually a town. And it's where the seventh gym is, too. And it's also the location of where we'll find the sixth member of my team. I know, everyone's been, like, really crazy about that, wondering who I'm going to use. I have seen a few people who have got it right, though. So I applaud those who have guessed correctly. My boyfriend gave me big pearls. Aw, oh, well, isn't he so nice? He probably stole them, though. <laughs> oh, look at me, just being cruel to a stupid beauty trader. Shelter. Alright. Uh-oh, Cloyster. You know what? I'm going to use Mega for this because I believe ground's strong against ice. No? Wait, that, that could be wrong, but either way, I want to try it. Let's use Earthquake. We haven't used Earthquake yet. <laughs> oh, wow, that didn't do very much. Okay, maybe... Maybe Earth is not... Er Earth... Maybe ground is not strong against ice. I thought it was. Maybe that's rock. Something like that. Or no, I could be thinking of fighting, actually. Which I still don't have a fighting move yet. I will once Poliwhirl evolves and once I get the actual TM for submission, which is the move I want to teach it. That's still a little ways away, though. Okay, so he's talking about the Cinnabar Lab, which is another place we're going to want to visit. Because we can get two more Pokemon that way. I probably won't do that in this video, but I will definitely do that in the next video. Okay, we have a Sea King. Okay, Beauty's been defeated. Again. Because we've destroyed like 15 or 50 Beauties by this point. Okay, Repel wore off. I think we're almost there, but... I'm going to use one just in case. There we are! We made it, guys. We made it to Cinnabar. First place I'm going is the Pokemon Center, and I think I'm probably going to end the video here too, so uh, this has been Pokemon Trainer Rob, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Blue, I'll see you guys next time when we start the Cinnabar section of the game, so hope you guys enjoyed, see you guys next time, later folks.